my history is that I'm a computer science major. I came out of school, uh, love to make websites. I'm sort of an entrepreneur at heart. And uh, I moved to New York because I knew that the, the internet communities are either New York City or San Francisco. Uh, so I went to New York and uh, I just, Vimeo had a job opening. It was way early on before like anyone really was using the site. And uh, I, I joined because I liked the people that were working there. And it was just me and two other guys making the site in an apartment in like New York. But uh, it was an amazing experience to help grow the site and really focus the community. And like what really makes a, a social site successful is uh, harnessing the community and, and having a friendly ad attitude towards them. And you know, it's tough these days because the internet is filled with you know, many, many ideas and people are executing the same ideas from, from different perspectives. And in the end, the winner is who has the best product and the, the best usability. And uh, if, you, if you can create a good product from, from back end to front end, to design, to usability, I, I think you can create something special. But then if you have a unique product that doesn't exist, then, then you have a winner. I mean, and, and I, a good idea sells itself. Uh, and if you, ha you feel like you have an idea that can sell itself, <clears throat> you should definitely go just find an investor and pitch your idea and show them like, what, what's possible from it. But an another thing that uh, I've been talking about recently is knowing your market, knowing, knowing who your true user base is. A lot of startups go, they want to just get as many people as possible to use their site. But maybe in the end, it's not meant for everyone. And I think it's healthy to get, figure out what people will pay for. I think Web 2.0, that whole like that that uh, the that name is uh, fake, <laughs> in my in my opinion, because Web 2.0 just means get lots of people and slap ads on it and make it like pretty looking. But I think the true uh, future for web startups is actually releasing a startup with a like a subscription plan from the very beginning. I just saw a movie which shared some similarities with uh, Star Wars. What's story behind that idea? Uh, that's a it's a combination of uh, a, a side passion. I'm really interested in crowdsourcing and getting many people to work on a common task for free, leveraging their passion. Uh, and then working at Vimeo, I would I would always be thinking about how to get filmmakers to work together remotely, like using the Vimeo forums or like any, some sort of like tool. And I thought, well, what's the common denominator of these two ideas? It's like, why don't I just split a movie into pieces and then serve it out to people to recreate? And uh, the first movie I thought of was Star Wars because everyone knows Star Wars. I mean, uh, it's just, it's like the Michael Jackson of movies. So what's your relations to? Base in general, I I think when I was a kid, I wanted to study space. Actually, <laughs> I'm a sucker for anything sci-fi. I've probably seen every good and bad sci-fi movie you can possibly think of. Uh, the last book I read was Rendezvous with Rama, and uh, just I, yeah, it's space is just like it's an easy love for me. <laughs> I'm a sucker. Okay. Uh, any expectations uh, about the alternative party? Expectations. I was here yesterday and I saw them some amazing things. Uh, the I love the 3D printers, the RepRap and the MakerBot. Those are awesome. Um, and the some of the you know, the video installations are really awesome. And uh, the the uh, the audio uh, I don't know what you call them. Yeah, the audio demos. Yeah, the, really great and very interesting to talk to these people here.